Now, as the community mourns, people are left asking, why did Christopher Murphy uh, shoot at the officers Sunday night? So far, no definitive answer. The I team's Connor White has new perspective from neighbors. He's live in Salina tonight. Connor? Megan, Matt, this is a tight knit neighborhood. People know each other. Neighbors know their neighbors, and that's no different for the Murphys who were living here on Darien Drive. People who have known 33 year old Christopher Murphy since he was a toddler say that they are shocked. They can't wrap their heads around the fact that he caused this scene that he murdered two officers on Sunday night. Flowers now lie in the grass on the front lawn of 4945 Darien Drive. Left on Wednesday for Syracuse Police Officer Michael Jensen and Onondaga County Sheriff's Deputy Michael Husak. Their colleagues still searching for bullets in Christopher Murphy's front yard and in the grass across the street. Dozens of bullets flew around the neighborhood Sunday night. Murphy hit Lieutenant Husak as he tried taking shelter behind a tree in a neighbor's backyard before shooting Officer Jensen out front. Jensen and another officer returned fire, bringing Murphy down in the street. Living with the aftermath, neighbors are also left with burning questions. One woman speaking anonymously with the I team off camera said she's known Murphy since he was a toddler. In fact, she says her kids grew up with him. They went to school together. They played together. I truly was shocked when I found out it was him, she said. The only potential red flag she ever noticed living nearby was that Christopher and his siblings would shoot squirrels in the backyard with what she believes were pellet or BB guns. But even then, she says he was always polite, now known to law enforcement as the reason their brothers are gone. We have detectives processing this investigation, having to go back to the scene, revisit this, because of this evil demon. Murphy went through the Liverpool School District, graduating from the high school in 2008. The DA confirms that more recently, he held a job at JMA Wireless. In 2014, sheriff's deputies arrested him for driving drunk. Deputies tell us that he resisted arrest, but that the arresting officer that night doesn't remember anything extreme happening. In fact, Murphy wasn't formally charged for resisting arrest, just the DWI. Investigators now see this as a possible link to Sunday's carnage, a possible reason to hate police. He had been grinding about it, so to speak, um, against officers, against law enforcement. It's nothing concrete, though. The only other factor here is cocaine. The Onondaga County DA says Murphy was inside using the drug with a friend, Sean Kinsella, on Sunday evening prior to the shooting. Deputies detained Kinsella that night, but he's not facing any charges. That same anonymous neighbor had the same confusion about Kinsella's role, saying he was, quote, a kind soul, knowing the pair were lifelong friends from school. As the physical scene begins to wrap up, investigators are now focusing on social media, combing through everything they can find from Murphy himself, from Sean Kinsella, as well as their friends and relatives to try to find clues as to why this violence happened on Sunday. Reporting in Salina, I'm Connor White.